located in the heart of Singapore. Jurong Bird Park first opened its doors 50 years ago, showcasing well over 400 species of birds, including some critically endangered ones. But now, it's time to expand. The entire park is being relocated in Mandai, right close to Singapore Zoo. But because 2020 sucked for everybody, including birds, the new park is still not ready. So today, we are bidding this workhorse of a park one final goodbye before it moves for its great migration. My name is Simon. I'm a French-Canadian expat living in beautiful Singapore with my wife and two children. And I'm putting a bunch of videos together to chronicle the good, the bad, and the tasty. Tag along, man. You've got room for one more. It's a dreadful day here in Singapore. The sky is overcast and the kids are in a foul mood. The way I see it, it's the perfect time to see a bunch of colorful birds. My dad would have said, why don't you make like a duck and let the rain run down your waterproof plumage? Me? I say, why don't we make like these koi fish over here? We are already drenched, so who cares about some rain? And to the marketing genius who set up this bubble machine in the entrance, Thank you! Foul mood lifted! Hooray! First stop, Penguin Coast. Listen, I'm from the north and they're from the south, but we all share the dreadful, never-ending winter for more than half the year. I understand, guys. I get it. It's a pretty decent colony they got here, made all the more impressive by all the caretakers who breed, hatch, feed, raise, and eventually introduce each individual to this colony year over year. Fantastic work, guys. Okay, got my fill of winter for one year. Time to move on to the Wings of Asia, a big old Jurassic Park birdcage where all the crown jewels of Southeast Asia come to sing. Most of them are free to roam around perching anywhere they want and singing to their heart's content. For the other more territorial birds, they get their own private safe space. Sorry fellas, no free range for them chickens. Wait a minute, that guy's not a bird. This is the lesser mouse deer, one of the smallest deers anywhere in the world. It's about the size of a rabbit. Cool. Well, it's still raining. So we make our way to Pelican Lake. I don't know what's with these guys today, but they're lethargic. Fun fact, did you know that the great white pelican has a wingspan of more than nine feet? They are huge! You could put a kid's saddle on its back. And just as I'm about to cross this bridge... Okay, I'm intimidated. Apologies, sir. Damn, that's one big-ass bird. How about we go for something smaller next? Yeah, welcome to Parrot Paradise. All the parrots from all around the world in one place. I know, right? That pelican was a total bully, man. I wish Coco Beware would be here slap some sense into that guy. Our next stop is the beautiful Flamingo Lake. This park might be 50 year old, but man, it doesn't show its age at all. It puts to shame most of the zoos in Canada we've been at. And here's one of the most impressive exhibition of the entire park, the Philippine Eagles. If you've watched the Great Migration documentary, you know that a ton of effort and time and money has been spent into securing the future of these birds. An awesome collaboration between the Philippines and Singapore to bring these two critically endangered but incredibly majestic birds of prey in their new enclosure. What a cool story. Fun fact, marabou is a French word to say pouting. And looking at these guys, I understand why. They look like big fans of good Charlotte. Moving right along in the big bird department, here are some of the dinosaur descendants. 
those Cyrus cranes are gigantic, like two meters tall, easy. And how about this black crowned crane? I'm kind of running out of words to describe the beauty of these birds, but I'll just say this, watch your fingers kids. And here is my son Leo's favorite bird of the day, the common cossaway. I think it's because it got T-Rex feet, and arguably, this is one of the closest looking thing you'll ever see to a two-legged dinosaur anywhere in the world. It feels like it hails from a completely different era. What a cool animal. I'm a big fan too. Cool, time to check on the wetland habitats. With all this rain, I suppose these guys are having a good day, right? Well, everyone but this shoebill right here because whatever Ariel is selling him, he's not buying it. What a pissed off looking bird. He kinda remind me of Joyce before she has her second cup of coffee in the morning. I think he's my new favorite. Hey, look, my buddies, the hornbills. I've seen quite a bit of hornbills out and about in Singapore, especially on Pulau Ubin. But some of the species on display here come from Africa as well and every single one is beautiful and charismatic and funny in their own way. Scratch what I said about the shoe bill, I think these guys take the cake. Welcome to Lorry Loft. That is, if he can get passed through those incredibly powerful bird catcher thingies. Hey, hey, quit it. Do as I say, not as I do, all right? This is one of the park's four main aviaries, where every bird is free to fly around, making it quite difficult to get a good shot. So when in doubt, I'm just gonna film Ariel stealthing her way around a bird. Oh yeah, tension and drama. You go, girl. Again, I sound like a broken record, but this place is beautiful. Whatever it is that they're building in Mandai, the bar is high, because this old park right here is hard to beat. Whatever it is that you guys are cooking up, sign me up. I want to be the first in line. I'm fairly certain the rest of the family would not mind coming along either. Huh? Bonus question. How the hell did this water monitor get all the way up there? I mean, it's a great tanning spot, but watch out for the eagles, man. I've seen a couple around here. And here's what sets this park apart from all others, at least in my eyes. The breeding and research center is glass planed. You can see the actual caretakers feeding, nursing, weaning all the birds. I think I recognize a few upper faces from that documentary I was talking about. This is where the little penguins was born, nursed, raised, and eventually released. If you think about it for a second, that's 50 years of caretaking. Multiple generations of caretakers doing all they can to protect some of the most endangered bird species anywhere in the world. Yeah, okay, maybe they do it for the kids, but I would bet my right leg that they're actually mostly doing this because they love them birds. And that is both beautiful and commendable. And for what it's worth, I thank you for it. And for all the people involved in the planning and the building of the new park in Mandai, you guys have an incredibly high bar to clear. But hey, if I've learned anything over the last year living in Singapore, is that whatever high bar the Singaporean people set for themselves, they're gonna clear it with room to spare. No pressure, guys. For everybody else out there, if you like this video, go ahead and prove it. Press that like button. Yeah, boy! It always helps. And if you want to be even more helpful and help this channel grow more and more, go ahead and press subscribe. It's easy, costs you nothing, and it helps me even more. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you down the trail. Bye bye.